So as Ben indicated, the first sensor type we're going to go through is, uh, we'll call it the desk sensor. Uh, it's often referred to as a utilization sensor or a PAR sensor. They all really mean the same thing. Um, this slide really highlights the notion that the, the desk sensor itself uh, is generally deployed on a one-for-one -one basis uh, tied to the number of desks or workspaces um, you're looking to monitor. Um, generally speaking, a desk sensor can be placed on or under a desk or within a small cubicle or, or office space on the wall. Um, you know, really either option works <clears throat> as far as the deployment goes. Benefits to the desk sensor. So the desk sensor um, generally is battery powered. Uh, you've seen advances in battery longevity over the course of time. Um, you know, years back, you'd see one to two year battery life. Um, now it's not uncommon to see 10, 20, 30 year battery life on, on specific applications, depending on how they're used. Uh, but it's a, the desk sensor is a really nice tool for understanding um, your utilization, your, 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 your occupancy on a per space basis. Um, as you can see in the, the screenshot there, uh, each of those red dots represents a, a sensor under a defined workstation. Uh, all of that data aggregates back to a central repository um, for, for visibility and uh, digestion. Um, the other main benefit of the desk sensor is it allows you to understand real-time utilization. Um, generally, you'll see kind of kiosk style displays in, in an office entryway uh, that employees will use to navigate one space based on whether a, a seat is, is used or not. Um, additionally, in the market, you'll see uh, integrations with the desk sensor type, uh, whether it's a BMS, BAS system, uh, we have a number of clients that control their lighting or HVAC systems using a myriad of desk sensor technologies. Um, and the big thing this ultimately comes back to is growing revenue by adopting co-working strategies to rent and share unused space. Um, as employers are coming back to office, um, they're thinking through how their space is or isn't going to be used compared to how it was used, um, whether it's hoteling um, or a hybrid workforce. The desk sensor provides that, that analytical insight uh, into, into how this space is or isn't being used and is really a powerful tool um, for things like integration. Here you see a, a live floor plan. So again, this would be seen um, in the lobby area of an organization. Each of those colored dots represents a different status state of those defined workspaces. Uh, green representing free or unused workspaces. Uh, yellow indicating recently used workspaces that may may or may not still be occupied. So think of a situation where you go grab a cup of coffee, uh, you walk across the hallway to go speak to an individual, maybe you need to pop into a conference room for a quick meeting. That's where the yellow status um, populates. Then the red status um, represents a, a, a booked uh, or occupied space. So upon entering uh, a lobby, you can quickly see where you should sit, where you should not sit, um, things like that. Where we are now with with kind of coming back to work, this is incredibly important, especially when you have a hybrid workforce that may be in the office a couple of days a week, maybe remote a couple of days a week. Um, also in situations where individuals don't have defined workspaces, they're, they're free to hotel, wherever the case may be. This is a valuable tool to walk in very quickly, nearly immediately uh, be put in a position where you can say, okay, I need to go sit here or I don't need to go sit there. Um, but just kind of helps with that overall workflow. And because this is just a sensor, I can't know that I need to avoid Travis by going to the upper right instead of going to the left, correct? That's not exactly that I would right. Not avoid you, but you know. No, <laughs> absolutely not. But but you touch on something that's important, and that's just the concept of of anonymity, right? So all the all the data is completely anonymous. It doesn't know Travis from Ben from Steve. Uh, but it does um, know that a, an individual was at a defined space. And that technology uh, is, is largely driven by uh, passive infrared sensors. Uh, those sensors detect occupancy by way of a combination of, of movement and heat. And that triggers, that triggers really the dot status there uh, on the image.